Hey everyone, it's Anna Lee here. It's been a good minute since I've done one of these sit down videos, but let's do it, shall we? Forgive me if I ramble, because I tend to do that, but hey, that wouldn't be me if I didn't do that, right? So let's get on with this. This is going to be a haul from Planet Blue, Shop Planet Blue, which Jesse shoots for a lot. You guys just check it out, it's really great. And his photography work is amazing and not biased or anything, but he, Jesse's really talented. I'm also going to have Zara and a couple of things from American Apparel. And I'm also thinking I might do a quick little like day three how I achieve this hair look. Just to give some of you guys reference. So if you guys want to be lazy, you guys don't have to do anything to your hair. Well, you have to do something, but not as much. I'm also going to show you a couple of products that might help you guys out when you guys are trying to do day two, day three hair to kind of tame some of that frizziness or like that textured look that you get with day two, day three hair. This hair look right now that I have is day three hair. I hit my roots with dry shampoo at the root right here just to get rid of all the oils. This is the L'Oreal Fresh Dust. I swear by this, I've been using this for, I don't even know how long, for forever now. But it's some good stuff. Just make sure you really rub it in. I wash my bangs every day, so I'll section my hair off and I'll cleanse it with wen and then round brush blow dry it. But everything else, I just use this because, you know, I'm lazy when it comes to my own hair. A good trick with dry shampoo is you spray it at the roots, let it sit in a good two, three minutes or so, let all those oils get soaked up, and then what you do after that is you're going to rub it in. You want to make sure that cast is gone. Just really rub it in. You know, you don't want gray hair or white, like a white cast on your roots. So just make sure you, you rub it in. Then after I do that, depending on how tangled my hair is, because my hair is really long and it's, you know, it's part of the struggle with long hair, your hair gets tangled. So depending in my mood or if I feel like I could handle some of that tangle through the day, if I can't, then that's when I'll brush my hair out. Um, and when you, a good tip for brushing your hair is you always want to start from the bottom and work your way up. Because if you're starting from here, you're just kind of breaking your hair. You're ripping it up. So always start from the bottom and work your way up. And then usually at that point, my hair looks very brushed out, a little bit fuzzy, not frizzy, fuzzy. And then I want to tame it. So there's three options for, for me to do and for you guys to do as well. One option is you could do a mixture of the Wen Finishing Treatment Cream, which is right here, mixed with a glossing serum. With these two products, what you're going to get is more of a polished look so if you have like a blow dry that you're trying to revive this is really good because it'll tame like the coarseness and the frizziness um with your hair this is good stuff but just make sure a little tiny pea size mixed with like about two to three dropper fulls of the glossing serum works good and then you can always add on to if you need to so this is good for like i say like if you're trying to get get some polish the next product is this right here this is the orbe air style this look is good for that whole effortless like day two day three a little bit more mattifying look or a more of a matte look if you're going for that this one is good for you and the last product i'm going to show you as an option for taming the mid shaft and the ends on your hair is this coconut oil hair shine from the body shop it's just basically coconut oil but in a solid form. And a little bit goes a long way. And this is like the happy medium of like the Orbe and the Chaz products. Cause it's like, it kind of gives you that shine and polish, but it also kind of gives it a little grit. So if you're trying to go for that, that's great. That's what I have in my hair. So you can notice like it kind of separates it. It gives it a little bit of a polish into there and it still kind of looks a little grungy, which is what I'm kind of going for. So that's from the body shop. So I hope some of this is a little bit helpful for you guys and I hope you guys could join me in this like whole lazy hair like I don't give a F <laughs> look but you kind of do you know that whole French girl like you know French girl hair look so now that I bored you all with like hair products which I hope I didn't but if I did I apologize and now let's just get on with the fun stuff Let's start with Zara because there's not that much with Zara. The first thing I purchased at Zara is this top right here. As you can see, it has like nice little bell sleeves. Let me get up here. Um, a little bit short. Look, a little bit cropped. Very cute. Look how cute that is. 
Finally, a bell sleeve top that doesn't look, make me look so top heavy. Um, this is from Zara. I don't really know what the price was. I know it's brand new and it's out there. So I think if you just go online right now, maybe we'll put the link down below. You guys can check it out. Here is that top that I got from Zara. It's super cute. Can you tell? Look at the sleeves. Very, very cute. The next item, you're going to think that there's a little pattern happening because there is a pattern happening. <laughs> it's this other thing here, right here. So this one is black and white and it's a top, but this one is a dress from Zara as well. I'll put this on so a clip, because right now it's not really doing any like hanger justice at all. Okie dokies, here is the other outfit that I got right here from Zara. I'm gonna show you some boots that I got from Zara which are great. These were on the sale rack. Look at these shoes. I showed this on, I do like Instagram live, like things on, my, on the live thing sometimes and I showed this already on that. But this was only like about, I think I wanna say it was $39 and it was normally 120, I believe. It's real leather, it was on sale for their mid-season se mid sale. On camera, it's looking gold. Originally thought it was, it was silver, but I guess it is gold. It elongates my legs, which is always a win. And they seem comfortable when I was trying them on at the store. So excited to wear these. The next pair of shoes that I got from Zara are these. Look how cute these are. Oh my god, look at that, look at that heel. How rad is this? I've worn this already. I, I wore this out when we went out to dinner and they were very comfortable and they were just beautiful. Real leather and look at the heel. It's like what? The acetate? But it's very cool, edgy, but at the same time kind of classy. I wore these with like some Zara jeans that I did purchase as well, but they're in the in the dirty clothes because I've worn it. But they were like these high waist like frayed on the bottom black denim and I must say that was my first pair of Zara jeans that I've actually bought and they were very comfortable and they were skinny jeans and normally with skinny jeans I'm always afraid that they're going to end up stretching out through the day and they didn't and they were great. Win for Zara jeans. The next items I'm going to show you now is from a store called Shop Planet Blue. It's just called Planet Blue, but I think the website is called Shop Planet Blue. So when I was on Shop Planet Blue, I kind of went a little crazy on this brand called Faithful the Brand. Well, actually, everything I bought from Shop Planet Blue was from this brand. It's a new line to me. I've never ever had heard of it before. And but they're out, their outfits are so cute. It's literally the look that I'm going for this spring and summer. I'm gonna get a good wear out of this because they seem to be very well made and they're just freaking cute. The first one is this dress right here. This is this wrap dress. Um, I will put this on so you guys can have an idea of how it looks. I got it a little bit bigger because I want this part right here a little bit more flowy. It's like a mini skirt, but not. And I'm thinking of wearing this either with those shoes that I just bought with the the black leather or my Isabel Morant sandals. And here is the other dress. This is from Faithful the Brand. It's cute. Okay, the next one is right here. This is another Faithful the Brand. And this is also from Faithful the Brand. Oh my god, it has pockets. Live. So cute. The next outfit I got from Faithful the Brand. This is a very very darling little dress. <laughs> but it's very spring and summer, but look at the colors, navy and white. You can't say no to that, you know? Okie dokies, here is the other dress from Planet Blue. Very cute, definitely can't move my arms around. Definitely a going out dress. Next one is this right here. It's gingham and stripes. Gingham and stripes. And this is another dress also. This is from Faithful the Brand. Very cute. I can't wait to wear this. It's so like like Isabel Marat vibes, but like a little bit more preppy, I guess you could say. And now here is the other dress from Faithful the Brand. Cute too.
So some of you guys know that American Apparel is actually closing down. So right now, if you like American Apparel and you want to stock up, now's the chance to get it. And I went to, when we were at Little Tokyo, I ended up like, we stopped by the American Apparel store and I found a few things just to get, you know, and this is it right here. This is a basic black tank top. This is just a bodysuit that I feel like I could wear with like overalls and all that kind of good stuff. This is, I'm going to wear layered also. Do you see it? Wear it layered with, I'm sure with overalls as well. And then this one, just to wear around the house. And it feels really good. This is only like $2, can you believe that? The rest was like around like 10, 15, maybe even $18. But this one was only $2.50. Hope you guys all enjoyed my little haul. Not that much stuff. I try not to like blab as much as I usually do, but I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know how many times I said cute. Somewhere there, I know I tried stopping. But, you know, sometimes you just have to say it's fucking cute, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope some of my hair tips for day two, day three hair, etc. helped you guys out. And go shopping, it's fun. And it's sunny. So, why not? Any excuse to go shopping, right? I will see you guys soon. Bye!